Swami Vivekananda is unarguably one of the most influential monks of India and Hinduism. Globally, Swami Vivekananda is most known for his powerful speech delivered at the Parliament of World Religions in Chicago in 1893, in which he highlighted the primary Hindu principle of oneness. In commemorating the 123rd anniversary of this historic address, the Ramakrishna Mission of South Africa unveiled the first Swami Vivekananda statue in the country at their headquarters in Durban. In the uh, World History, 1893, September 11, was the date when the Columbian Exposition, which was the celebration of 400 years of American finding of the American soil, by Columbus and Amerigo Vespucci. So 1492 it was discovered. So 1892 was 400 years. So 1893, September 11, they held the celebration by holding a parliament of religions. So it was the first of its kind. And Swami Vivekananda represented India. I am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance. We believe not only in universal toleration, but we accept all religions as true. I am proud to belong to a nation which has sheltered the persecuted and the refugees of all religions and all nations of the earth. The present convention, which is one of the most august assemblies ever held, is in itself a vindication, a declaration to the world of the wonderful doctrine preached in the Gita. Whosoever comes to me, through whatsoever form, I reach him. All Before the inauguration of the Parliament of Religion, nobody practically ever knew about Swami Vivekananda, who he was, what were his antecedents, what are his qualifications to represent this big country of India. When he addressed the parliament there with about 7,000 select audience, the best scholars in philosophy and religion, and the audience were assembled there. So in that uh, hall of Columbus, he addressed them as dear sisters and brothers of America. First five words, the whole 7,000 people and the whole nation behind them. They felt here is a man who feels that whole world is his sisters and brothers. He feels that whole humanity is a divine family. They felt it. In the end, Swami Vivekananda completed his speech. That was after another 11 days. So the last speech of him is very significant. He said, you see, this all these uh, quarrels between religions must stop. We are all say, going to the same goal by different paths. The date of 11 September is a historic date because on 11th of September 1893, Swami Vivekananda, barely 30 years old, attended the World Parliament of Religions. And when he finally addressed the World Parliament of Religions as sisters and brothers of America, that's all he had to say to get this rapturous applause for two or three minutes by four to seven thousand people in this World Parliament of Religions. Jotomat, Totopot. As many religions, so many paths. So this is the great message of uh, our harmony of religions was taught on September 11. It is to highlight that the world needs it today. We are all remembering September 11, 2001, when American history has changed. WTO building was locked. It was knocked down, not because of any other, uh, by any other force. It was the fanaticism of the religion. You welcome which you have given us. I thank you in the name of the most ancient order of monks in the world. I thank you in the name of the mother of religions. And I thank you in the name of millions and millions of Hindu people of all classes and sects. I am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance. We believe not only in universal toleration, but we accept all religions as true. I am proud to belong to a nation.
It was Swami Vivekananda who once said, where can we go to find God if we cannot see him in our own hearts and in every living being? Let us heal our souls in our beautiful land through the truth espoused by our masters and enshrined in our glorious Sanatan Dharma. We hope that you enjoyed the show and until next time, do keep up your sadhana. Om Namo Narayanaya. We thank our most revered Maharaj for this great honor of having his holy presence amongst us and on this historic occasion to unveil the statue of Swami Vivekananda. And I'm absolutely certain that Swamiji's image and the pose of Swamiji will be inspiring to many, many devotees, not only here, but all over. <laughs>